welcome to another Mad Hatter review. Uh, today, I wanted to do a good old fashioned top 10 list. And what I wanted to go over, um, I, was, I was going down memory lane, looking at some vintage Playmate stuff. I thought, you know, it'd be fun. Let's go through these and do sort of like a top 10 WTF, what the fuck uh, 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 figures or, or lines. Um, spotlight 10 things where you just look at and you're like, what were they thinking? Why did they do this? What, what is the purpose of this? And I just thought it would be, it would be fun. And so um, um, what I try to do, there's so much Playmate stuff. So I just kept it to like vintage. So uh, I'm talking about like 80s, 90s, nothing. I don't think past like, I don't know, like maybe 98 or something. Um, so without further ado, Let's go ahead and go uh, go through these. Uh, you, you may agree, you may disagree, you may say, hey, Mad Hatter, fuck you, because I love that figure. Uh, that's why we do these. It's fun to just kind of have opinion. So let's start it off with number 10. Number 10, the Bodacious Birthday Turtles figures. So these were uh, Ninja Turtles that were birthday-themed for some reason, they playmates thought, "Hey, people like Ninja Turtles. Uh, wouldn't you like them to, to to show up at your birthday? Great! I, I want Ninja Turtles to show up at my birthday. That's my dream. Yeah, but we'll we'll take it a step further. They'll be dressed up in birthday party attire, like clowns and magicians and shit like that. No, no, I don't. Why? 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 Play, why would I want that? I Ninja Turtles are good enough. Just have them come to my birthday. They don't have to. Nope." They're going to dress up as clowns. They're going to show up and uh, we're going to make a million dollars off this. So that's how we got the Bodacious Birthday Turtles. And there's only three of these. Um, so, by the way, I didn't have these. These are ones that um, I do remember them. But uh, um, even back then, Little Mad Hatter was not going to spend his, his hard-earned money on these. Um, so you have Classic Party Reptile Leo, uh, the noise-making sweater party star... Uh, uh, what does he come with? Uh, uh, mutant noisemaker mouthpiece, pizza cake, uh, birthday comes with a little, I guess it's like a pizza cake. I don't even know what a pizza cake is. And then he's got a little smock that says happy birthday. And then you have Raphael as a magician. It's not bad. I mean, it's not good enough that this dude is a fucking ninja. He's got to also be a magician too, to entertain your bratty kids. Uh, but I guess that's what he's got to do. Um, so you got Raph the Magnificent right here and he comes with... Those look like bowling pins. I don't even know what those are. What are they? Two pinhead juggling pins. And then he's got a little uh, a little evil mustache. He's got like a put a put a, a damsel on a railroad uh, mustache and look on his face. Uh, but the worst of this line is Crazy Clown and Mike. You have Michelangelo. He's looks like a clown and he's like on these stilts and... Um, uh, or no, his 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 legs I guess I guess still uh, stilt up, and uh, for some reason, and then he's got his uh, you know happy Mike birthday and you know he he eats children in 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 the sewer vents and you know hangs out with Pennywise. I don't know. They thought this was a good idea, crazy clown. So you got the bodacious birthday turtles um, starting off with a bang. Get them at your birthday. It's not good enough that they're ninjas and that they're turtles. Let's make them clowns too. But Bodacious Birthday Turtles. Next, number nine. Number nine are the auto mutations. I don't even remember these. I don't know. I, I mean, I don't think I was smoking pot as a kid. Uh, but I hung out in a lot of toy stores, hung out at KB Toys in the mall. You know, mom would drop you off. You had nothing to do. You'd walk around KB Toy Store. And um, I don't remember these, but I kind of, I, va I vaguely have a memory of this Night Ninja Don. So there's, let me just go, go back. So you have Night Ninja Bebop, Night Ninja Leo, Night Ninja Raph, Night Ninja Don, Night Ninja Mike, and Night Ninja Rocksteady. They all look uh, terrible. Um, and the deal with these guys, let's go ahead and just click on Night Ninja Don, is... Um, I guess they would mutate from their regular, and I use that in quotes because it's not their regular forms, but from standard forms into 
I guess these stupid looking ninjas um, with masks on that go and attack stuff. Um, Night Ninja Don has, it looks like the mask from um, The Man in the Iron Mask with Leonardo DiCaprio. Remember he wore that ugly mask? It, it looks like it's that. And it's not really a mutation. I mean, you're just putting on a mask. So I don't really get the theme of it either. Don looks like he put some weight on. He's huge and he's got this like Russian bathhouse robe on. Like he's like about to go to E Honda's level and take a bath. I, I don't even know. I, I honestly, I don't know what this is. And they all are wearing these weird bathrobes. Uh, you have Bebop is wearing a bathrobe. Rocksteady is wearing this bathrobe. They're wearing bathrobes and then they auto mutate. But again, they don't really mutate. They just wear armor. So, but anyway, auto mutation, that's number nine. And, uh, and yeah, moving on, number eight. Number eight are these cyber samurais. So um, conceptually, I think this is okay. Um, so they have all the, all the turtles, and then you have uh, Bebop, and then you have Shredder. No Rocksteady. And if you just click on this one Don right here. So basically, it's sort of like... I guess it's like a cyber samurai version of the Ninja Turtles. They look like they're like knockoffs from like, you know, you go to like downtown and there's a, like those shops that just have like knockoff shit. It just looks like that. The colors are like knockoff colors. They, they got like too much gold in there. And um, they just look, I mean, this raft right here is the ugliest thing <laughs> I've ever seen. Uh, so... Cyber Samurais, I had to be reminded of this, uh, that these existed. I, I don't even remember. I guess they came out in 94. Um, the Destructive Dundurin Digital Dude. Bebop, Cyber Accessories, Anti-Turtle Remover. And then they come with some accessories. Anyway, these stink. Cyber Samurai, that is number, what is that, eight. So, moving on. Number seven. Number seven is the Jim Lee TMNT. If you grew up in the 80s, 90s, Jim Lee, superstar artist, love Jim Lee, uh, did his famous run on, uh, on X-Men with Chris Claremont. Um, he's like one of those seminal artists that, you know, made us kind of want to be artists. And um, he draws everything just amazingly, except for one thing, the Ninja Turtles. He does not draw them very well. As, as, as proven by some of this art on the packages. So you have, you have Donatello, Jim Lee, you have Michelangelo, and then you have Raphael. And these look awful. These are, and, and I, they didn't even bother, um, they didn't even bother uh, making a Leonardo. They're like, no, nah, fuck this. Um, but, or, or, or it's not on, on, on this site. By the way, figurerealm.com just a wealth of guide information pulling all this off of. Um, so, you know, if you ever just want to go catch up memory lane, you can do it right here. But, uh, but yeah, I'm just taking a look at uh, this ref. It's almost like this weird, like this Michelangelo is like, he's like got shoulder pads on one shoulder and then he's wearing some kind of, I don't know, spandex or, and, and their mouths are doing this like weird frowny thing. It's it's not good. It's not good, Jim Lee. Um, but yes, the the Jim Lee, I guess this came out in 95. So that's like right at the peak of sort of image comics. 95, the Jim Lee TMNT. And you don't even get all four, you get three. And that is our, what is that? That's number seven. So moving on, number six. Number six is the... Kawabunga Kraken Turtle Eggs. So, if you were a kid and you love Ninja Turtles, what's your first wish? I wish they could come out of eggs. Of course, that's what we've all said. That's, that's, that's what we all dreamed of when we first laid eyes on Ninja Turtles. I wish somehow that I could just break open an egg and a Ninja Turtle will come out. Well, your wish came true in 94 with the Kawabunga Kraken, Turtle Egg, you got Breaking Loose Leonardo, Hero Hatch and Michelangelo, Egg Exploding Donatello, and Shell Splitting Raphael. 
And basically, it is as advertised. You had this egg. You can crack it open. And out came a Ninja Turtle with the weirdest legs I've ever seen. Um, they were just like these weird stilt legs. Um, I guess, I don't even know if there was some kind of battle action. I'm looking at the back of the Raphael. Shell textured egg. And then, but it doesn't say anything about the legs. I don't know why the legs look like that. They look like, they look like 80s dinosaur legs, um, like T-Rex legs or like, yeah, I don't know what those are. But if you want a turtle with weird legs to come out of your shells, you could have this. Um, you, you can get the Cowabunga Kraken Turtle Leg. I really wonder what these go for on eBay. I wonder if like some of these things I'm going over are like, you get there and it's like $300. But Anyway, uh, a, a real WTF contender uh, as far as I'm concerned. Uh, next one here, 10, 9, 8, what do we got? Five, number five. We have the Mighty Mutations. These came out in 94. They represent my most hated uh, toy gimmick, and that is the Let's Turn Things Into Transformers gimmick. Uh, I'm not a fan of that, unless it's obviously Transformers, or if it makes sense, uh, like Hasbro, Hasbro released, or somewhat makes sense, uh, Hasbro released an Ecto-1 that turned into an Optimus Prime, that's kind of cool, it's kitschy, it's like a vehicle turning into, that's Transformers, but then you have it where it's just like, we're gonna give you Peter Venkman, and he'll transform, no, humans don't transform, and on that note, turtles don't fucking transform, turtles don't transform, uh, but they have committed the cardinal sin with Air Force Mutation Don. They, they always call these mutations. Nobody looked up what a mutation is, I don't think. But Air Force Mutation Don, Construction Mutation Don, so you got two Dons, Construction Mutation Mike, Air Force Mutation Raph, and Construction Mutation Leo. So some of these mutated into, I guess this looks like, well, this is a plane and this is a jet fighter. But then you had construction vehicles, which is another... I don't understand the construction vehicle thing. I know that there's a lot of kids that grew up with construction vehicles. I don't get it. But if you ever wanted this... If you ever wanted a Donatello that could, I guess, transform into a... Into a fucking bulldozer. I mean, there you go. That seems to be a very niche... Uh, a, niche uh, a niche market. Construction mutation Mike. You know, I guess you can impress your dad. He comes off the construction site. Hey, look, Jimmy Jimmy likes what I do. You know, I, I don't know. I don't know who this is for. Um, but there you go. The Mighty Mutations construction. All new. Two turtle toys in one. It's not really two turtle toys in one. It's one turtle toy and then, and then a, a construction vehicle. But, um, but anyway, I digress. Uh, and that was number 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. That was number 5. So let's move on to number 4. Number 4. The Mutaforce. Uh, basically, these were mechs. So you like Ripley. You like her getting into a mech. The turtles can also get into mechs. And um, they can get into turtle mechs. <laughs> so, I mean... This isn't that bad, I guess, now that I'm looking at it. I mean, it's, but it, it is bad. It, it sort of represents, uh, this came out in 96. This kind of represents, we're, we're depleted. We're out of ideas. We're throwing shit at a wall, see what sticks. Spaghetti at the wall. Um, so you got Andro, Skeleton, Leonardo, Robotic, Raf, Robomatic, Raphael, Dynatronic, Donatello, and then Robotation, Michelangelo. And again, it's just like, you get the turtle, you get them in a mech, and it, it just doesn't, I guess it doesn't make a lot of sense. And the, and the mech, like the Michelangelo mech, has his face on it. I mean, it could be worse. It's, it's not the worst thing. I don't know how egregious it is, but it's kind of like, it's 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 playmates just tapping out at that point and saying, yeah, we don't, we, we don't know. We're, you know, do you guys have any ideas? Because, because yeah, we, we're out. Um... But that was number four, Mutaforce. All right. Number three. Number three are the Sumo Turtles. So you like 
Sumo wrestlers, you like the Ninja Turtles, boom, get those two shits together. And it does prove the point that not all great tastes taste great together. You know, chocolate, peanut butter, wonderful. Chocolate and, I don't know, tuna fish, not so good. So, and they only made two of these. They have a Sumo Michelangelo and a Sumo Raphael, which probably is an indication that this line wasn't a winner. And, I mean, they just look weird. It just is strange seeing a Ninja Turtle with those proportions. Um, you know, I'm looking at this Raphael, Sumo, the, the ton of terror turtle, Sumo Raphael accessory. You got the wacky wooden Sumo sandals. I mean, they're just regular sandals. They're not really that wacky. Sloppy Sumo size, Sumo blade, metalized Cowabunga collector coin. You get a collector coin. But this one was a miss. It's, uh, uh, and this Michelangelo is more of the same. They just look odd. Odd is the best word. Uh, no to the sumo turtles. Uh, moving on. Number two. Number two. The stretch turtles. So, stretch Armstrong. Cool. Great. Wonderful. He stretches. Stretching turtles. Creepy. Don't love stretch turtles don't doesn't feel right i get the let's capitalize on the whole stretchy of it all but they just look odd and the what what always what always was strange to me about this and kind of like creep me out is the is the is the box art uh just that uh that raphael looks like with his mr fantastic proportions it just creep me out and and uh and yeah i just i don't you don't have to stretch your turtles, I don't think. I, I think you'll be fine not doing that. They also have a stretch shredder as well. Um, and you can uh, go ahead and... And, and the shredder is just also sculpted abysmally. This is 96. By 96, stuff should have progressed a little more than uh, stretch, stretch turtles. Uh, so, nay on the stretch turtle. So... That brings us to our number one, number one with a bullet, the TMNT Farmer Turtles. Hey, you know what I want? I, I want the Ninja Turtles, but I want them picking corn or, um, you know, maybe cleaning up cow shit or, I don't know, uh, uh, creating those crop circle things. Uh, it, it, and, and I want them doing it in vehicles. Do you have something for me, Playmates? Yes, we do. Because you can get Farmer Don with Modern Mutant Tractor. Or you can also get Farmer Mike and his Turtle Tractor. For the boy or girl that has everything, you can get Farmer Turtles. I, I really wish I could have been a fly on the wall when someone said, you know, what do we combine the turtles with next? And someone said, Farmers. Uh, because I, I would love to just follow that person around and, and figure out what makes him or her tick and figure out well, how did farmers come to, come to mind? Like why farmers? What's, what's, uh, what, and, 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 you know, sometimes I think about this stuff and I'm, and I'm going, maybe they had a bunch of tractors and shit sitting at Playmates from another line. That, that, that does tend to happen. They got to move, you know, uh. I remember my wife and I, we bought a little, um, it was like one of those like um, toy cases. She got one that it, it, it's it, not Polly Pocket, but it was like, it was a Ninja Turtle case that opened up and it, there was a whole makeup thing in there for her. And it was clearly a leftover toy that some company said, hey, put a Ninja Turtle face and then just sell it as, a, as, as Ninja Turtles. I'm wondering if it was, if this is sort of the same reasoning Hey, we got these leftover uh, fucking tractors and shit. Um, how do we get rid of them? P package them in with Ninja Turtles. They're going to be farmers. Why would they be farmers? One guy asked that in the in the conference room. He was uh, summarily fired. And, um, you know, then we have Farmer Turtles. So Farmer Turtles, they are the number one WTF. Uh, why, is, why does this exist? Um, uh, figure, line, sub-series, whatever you want to call it. And, uh, and yeah, but wait, there's more honorable mentions. Uh, I'll get, I got three of them. 
So we're just going to go down the line here. Uh, number three is the some of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles mutant military line. So basically what these guys are, are Ninja Turtles in sort of like mostly modern combat scenarios. So you've got Ninja Turtles dressed up as soldiers and things like that. That's not that weird. But then you have two specifically in this line is this kooky cavalry Leo. So the cavalry's here and it's basically a Ninja Turtle in sort of this, uh, I guess, Civil War looking outfit. He's got his bugle. He's got his little, what is that? An ascot. And he's doing a little charge thing. And and I don't know, like, it, it, this is a very specific, let's go to the Civil War and let's dress him up uh, that way. But uh, here you go. The, the, the Leonardo with his sword and his bugle. And uh, another one from this line that I just thought was just such an odd... Such an odd choice is this, um, it's not letting me go back, but I think, I think the site is, is rejecting my criticism here. Um, here we go. The Yankee Doodle Raff. So another one, this Civil War, uh, uh, Yankee Doodle Raff, he comes with, uh, what is that, a, a, a musket and, uh, the little, what's the little gun? You got the long gun, right? You got the musket, and then you got the uh, the ones that the, the the pirates use. Whatever it is, blunderbuss. I forget what it's called. But you get the the Yankee Doodle Raff, um, the Sewer City War Hero, just in the Civil War. I don't know if the, is that a canteen as well. Very very strange. Very very strange uh, uh, to 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 create Civil War Ninja Turtle figures. Um, and uh, but that's why they get the honorable mention. On to honorable mention number two. That is these Ninja Turtle Adventure figures. Um, but specific, so the Ninja Turtle Adventure figures is Ninja Turtles in, in in different kind of like adventure outfits. So you got this Arctic Donatello. He's kind of got his Arctic gear on. It looks like Han Solo is ready to slice open a Tauntaun and sleep inside him. Then you got the Safar the Safar the Safari uh, Michelangelo. He's out on safari. But the WTF one from this line is the Deep Sea Diver Leonardo. Only because why does a turtle need deep sea diving uh, uh, gear? I don't get it. Logistically. I know we're talking about Ninja Turtles. I know. Before you even get at you know, th this is Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. But, you know, uh, even I can only suspend disbelief so much. And a deep sea diving turtle is... Um, it just, you know, it doesn't, it doesn't make sense to me. It's uh, what they call a hat on top of a hat. And it uh, uh, seems like, seems like overkill. Leonardo's just showing off at this point. Uh, also strange, they didn't make a Raphael here. So he just opted completely out of the adventure line. He's just like, fuck this. Um, but that is why that is honorable mention number two. And then finally, my number one honorable mention are the pizza tossing turtles so the concept with these are these ninja turtles basically have these little uh, um uh, devices strapped to their chest and they power launch pizza discs um and that's all well and good until you take a close look at their faces and realize that they are high on cocaine high on cocaine or maybe in the middle of a stroke i, I don't know what these facial expressions are, um, but they are really the thing of nightmares. And um, I always thought that uh, these uh, were kind of a kind of an odd look. They they it's almost got like a rat fink type of vibe. Also, the musculature is really weird as well. And um, just again, just just uh, absolutely terrifying. So that is why this gets honorable mention. And that's it. Those are uh, my or at least the ones that I found and kind of remember the Playmates, the WTF Playmates uh, uh, figures and lines that um, were just head scratchers. And um, and yeah, let me know if I missed anything. Let me know if you guys disagree, agree, if, if I'm, you know, if, if I'm crazy and maybe these pizza tossing uh, figures are are, are, uh, are are masterpieces and I, I'm just not seeing it. But uh, that's all. That's all we got. 
Comment, subscribe, let us know what you think, and we will see you next time. Bye-bye.